Okay, this is Brian from Van and Solar Adventures again. And I had a question on the Energy Kodiak solar generator solar charging capabilities. And so I'm posting this video <clears throat> specifically in regards to that. Now, I want to thank Energy for sending me the new charging cable. You can see it's a much thicker cable. And uh, they say it should be capable of transmitting the full input capacity of 600 watts into the unit. Uh, it goes into the unit in a, with a locking feature here. Uh, real quickly, outside I got 400 watts worth of solar panels, 250 watt Renogy panels, 100 watt Renogy panel. <clears throat> maximum output of 400 watts. You never usually achieve max output, so somewhere between 3 and 350 will probably go into the Kodiak today. I'm going to start with a dead Kodiak, and I'll show you that in the next clip. Okay, this clip is just to show you I'm starting with a dead Kodiak. You can see the front of it. I'm turning it on. Uh, last night, that had zero bars of power. You can see it's at the very end, there's actually two left. I don't have it actually, uh, no charge going into it yet. So it's virtually, virtually dead. I'm going to say it's 90% plus uh, of discharge. Um, and so I'm going to hook up the 400 watts and I'll show you that. Okay, I've got it hooked up. Uh, by the way, I want to thank Energy very much for sending me this new Nutric connector to MC4 cable. They didn't have to do that. They have their own line of solar panels with their own connectors. And so that's a very nice company that is willing to do, do that for customers who already have a, a good size investment in their uh, uh, MC4 based panels. So I want to put a shout out to Energy thanking them for that. And if there's other customers of Energy, I, I, I'm going to guess they'll allow you to do that. Anyways, I got this hooked up. You see I've got this uh, multi-connector here. Three uh, panels, all three panels going into each. Again, 400 watts. And uh, you can see this light has turned on. That means it's receiving input power. Now, on the next generation of the Kodiak, they're going to have a lot of input power readings. But for now they don't have any input power readings and so you won't be able to see on the display how much power is going into it but I'm gonna guess I'm gonna get an average of 200 to 300 watts this has 1100 watt capacity so that's just over three hours to charge this so I'm gonna take a note on the time here and uh, I'm gonna come back in three hours uh, it's 1044 a.m. now and we don't get our peak sun till just after noon. Uh, so this isn't the best um, study because I don't have full sun yet. It's only 1044 in the morning. Um, so uh, if th this might take four hours to fully charge. So, so that's not energy's fault. It's just how much power is coming in. So anyways, I'm going to check this in about three hours and see where we're at. And you can see, um, see these little light readings that is the charge level of the energy you can see it's fully zero when I had it turned on there was two little red dots there so it's fully zero so basically it's depleted and we'll see what that looks like in a couple hours okay this is the next video clip it is now uh, a couple hours it's 1 13 p.m. now I started this at 10 44 a.m. So 11.44, 12.44, so just over two hours. And let's see what charge level. Remember, we had uh, zero on there before, well, or the two red dots. Um, so let's see, I'm turning it on. And unfortunately, I expected this to be half full by now. You can see that we still just have two red dots there and 9.29 volts and so I'm very disappointed over two hours of solar charging even with partial shade now now we got full Sun right now but uh, that should 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 be roughly I don't know 40% charged and it is not so I'm not sure what's going on you can see the charge indicator light level here it is receiving a charge and I double checked all the connections and it wouldn't if, if any of the connections were bad that light would not be on and so it is receiving a charge so it is not charging so I'm not sure what is going on here 
I'm going to give it another couple hours and I'll, ch I'll check on it then. All right, YouTubers. Um, I came out here three hours later and no additional charge went in to the Kodiak energy. I checked all the connections. I've got a hundred percent sun. So at least 300 Watts, maybe 400. So something is wrong. So what I did is I took the brand new cable off that they sent me the thicker cable that should work perfectly and I put this thinner cable back on that they sent me originally that is super hot to the touch in fact it's burning my fingers right now I have to pretty much let it go and as you can see it's actually charging it you can see it was at 9.2 volts just in the last 15 minutes it's gone up to 10.33 volts so I'm gonna prove this I'm gonna take this cable back off also, it's just too hot to the touch. I think it's gonna melt or possibly catch fire. So I, I need to disconnect this, but it is transmitting the power. And I'm gonna hook up the other one and show you. All right, there it is with no charge going into it. It's at 9.81. And there's, there's that, you can see it from that last cable, it charged one bar here. So I'm gonna hook it up. All right, I hooked it up to the new cable. You can see it's got it's getting charged. However, look at that, 9.79 volts. When I had had the other one hooked up in full sun, it went all the way up to 10.33. So, boom, there is a problem with this cable. I'm gonna have to tell Energy there's something wrong with this cable they sent me. I've checked the connections. You know the connections are good, or this light would not be on. So there's something wrong with this new cable. And uh, it does charge fine with this old thinner cable, but it was super, super hot to the touch after 10 minutes. And I swear this thing's gonna melt or burst into flames. So I cannot, I don't wanna, I don't feel safe using this anymore. But um, I don't know, I'm not an electrical engineer. Maybe they can make the same cable out of the same wire. Maybe they switched the type of wire they're using, but there's something wrong with this, this cable. So sorry, I won't be able to finish the charging demonstration of the Kodiak today, but I want to be truthful in all my videos so you can see what has happened here. So maybe I'm helping Energy develop their cables. Um, and uh, I'm hoping they can, if they make another one, they can test it before they send it to me. And uh, we'll show you another video later. Last clip just to prove to everyone that my solar panels are working and connected properly. I have it connected to my Goal Zero Yeti 1250. I have two of the panels, 300 watts, and uh, you can see my Goal Zero is accepting a 209 watt input at the moment. And then my Yeti 400, connected to the 100 watt panel, is accepting a 49, 56 watt input. Now both of these are basically full so that means that it's not getting the full capacity but you can see that my cables and my solar panels are working just fine